please pay attention and see. When the source of creation has given equal attention to ant and you, who the hell are you to think an ant is a lowly creature and you are some superhuman being? Why are you making this judgment? Creation has not made this judgment. You may think you're superior simply because you're in a blatant manner, you're walking on this planet, but that's not true. The fact of the matter is like this. See, if all the worms on this planet, right now if all of them die, all the worms, in about twelve to eighteen months, all life on this planet will cease, everything, including you and me. Suppose all the insects die today, in something like two and a half to four years' time, all life will cease. But if all the human beings die, the planet will flourish. Yes, we make good manure. If human beings go away, right through this building trees will grow, isn't it? Yes or no? Everything will flourish. So, who the hell is telling you that you are the most significant life? This idea that the cosmos is human-centric is a stupid idea. In this cosmos, even this solar system is a tiny speck. Tomorrow morning if the entire solar system evaporates, nobody will notice it. That's how small it is. In that tiny speck, Planet Earth is a micro-speck. In that micro-speck, Bengaluru is a super micro-speck. In that, you are a very big person with great self-esteem. <laughs> this is… this is not a simple problem. People suffer this for their whole life without handling it. This is all you have to know. Never look up to anybody and never look down on anybody, this is all. Never look up to anything, never look down on anything. If you see everything just the way it is, everything has immense value. Everybody has a place and value to their life, isn't it? Every creature has value. Because we did not realize that, how many things we have destroyed in this world? Simply because we think this is valuable, this is not valuable. There is nothing here that is not valuable, everything has its value.